All right, well, if you have your Bibles, let's open them up. We'll be in Romans chapter 12. We're going to be zeroing in in today's devotion on verse 19. And I just hope you're learning God's Word. I hope you're learning to enjoy God's Word. Psalm chapter 1, it's there David says, listen, blessed or oh how happy will be the man or woman who delights and meditates on God's Word day and night. So I just can't encourage you enough. Keep in the word, keep enjoying it. And here in Romans 12, verse 19, this is, a, this is one of those verses that uh, is very well known. It's a verse that we quote and we hear in the body of Christ, but it's very difficult to actually practice, to actually do these things. Paul says here, Romans 12, verse 19, he says, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves. Do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Listen, here Paul, he's wrapping up these exhortations here in in terms of duty. What is the Christian's duty? What What are we responsible to do in light of all that God's done? And don't misunderstand me. Listen, it's all by grace. We need to realize who we are in Christ. But you and I, as God's word comes to us, have a duty to do these things. You know, we kind of live in this generation, in this time, when a lot of the things that are said to us as truth almost are up for discussion in many of our minds, especially in the culture around us. But when God's word says something to us, like here in Romans chapter 12, verse 19, Paul isn't writing it to the church. He's not writing it to you and I. God's spirit isn't flowing through Paul the apostle in penning these things as the word of God, right? These are not God breathed. And God isn't saying, listen, you know, if you feel like doing this or let's have a discussion about these things or if you think this is right, right? God's telling us, he's proclaiming to us what's right, what's good, what's true, what works, You know, sometimes we have these ideas and we do it our way. And what we don't realize is God loves us, but our way often stinks. It just doesn't work. God's word works. And what Paul is telling you here isn't just the spiritual thing to do or the right, quote unquote, moral thing to do, but it's the thing that works. It's what works. It's what God wants us to do because it works for you. It works for me. It works for those around us. And Paul says here, beloved, do not avenge yourself. Meaning, if somebody wrongs you, you don't go and wrong them double. You kind of see a theme here of Paul was really addressing this with the Roman Christians. And I think he has to address this with all Christians because we all have the tendency to seek to revenge ourselves. Do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. What does that mean? Give place to wrath. Huh? What does it mean? It means give God room to bring judgment. If you and I are wronged and we say, God, you sit this one out, I'll take care of this. We're not in a proper position to bring judgment. Why? Because we're not righteous either. You know, Exodus 20 is the 10 commandments in the gospels. Jesus calls the 10 commandments, the key of knowledge. Listen, You and I need to come before God's law, Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments, and realizing we're as guilty as the person who's wronged us. But now if we're coming to God with a humble spirit, like today, if you come to God with a humble spirit, listen, God will lift you up. He'll forgive you. If you 1 John 1, 9, bring your sins to the Lord, confess them. He's faithful and just to forgive you of sin and to cleanse you. But listen. If we oppose God, if we take matters in our own hands, if we have a haughty and a prideful spirit, listen, that's not God's deal. He's going to break us. And God says here, Paul tells us here, give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. You know, are you willing to let God do the work? Are you willing to do the loving and let God do the judging? Do you realize today that God says, Leave place for wrath. I'll judge. I'll deal with this. I'll deal with it rightly. And can I say, just like Proverbs tells us over and over again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The man or the woman who you're looking at, or maybe it's you, that doesn't fear God, listen, 
At one point, you will eventually learn to fear God because he is God and we are not. And the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen? All right. Lord, thank you for your word today. God, we pray. May we give place to wrath. Lord, may we bless and not curse. And Lord, may we, may we allow you, as your word says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. God, may we leave it in your hands. Whatever it is today, if something's been wrong by someone else, they've been hurt, even deeply hurt, Lord, I pray you would heal them, that you would heal them, and that, Lord, they would trust you today to protect them and to take care of it. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen.